everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Chris you've reached Chris loves Lux and today is a favorites and a fail or two video um also some empties so it's a little combination of everything covering January and February because I didn't do one in January so what's different about this versus my other um, favorites videos is I am incorporating things that are non makeup um, that I have been absolutely loving and would recommend as well. So that'll be a part of the video as well. But before we get into my list of things that worked and didn't work and that are empty now, um, I want to thank everyone for um, supporting my channel. As you know, um, I hit a thousand subscribers a few months ago and I'm currently doing a 1K giveaway. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it above. Don't forget to check out the 1K video and um, if you are eligible, you know, go ahead and enter to win it. And if you want to see what's in the box, it is in that video. But I want to thank everyone for their support. I really and truly do appreciate it. Um, with all of that said, we need to get into this video right after you click that subscribe button. Become a part of the Chris Loves Lux family. Then head over to IG and hit follow. For Chris Loves Lux. And then come back and let's talk about this video. Okay. All right. I had to get that PSA out the way. So let's talk. I'm going to talk about the one. Um, There's a there's some non-makeup items. Actually, there's a lot of non-makeup items in here. But the first thing I want to talk about is something that I did include in a, my, my first luxury haul of 2021. And that is the YSL card holder. I show I unboxed it. Um, in my haul video and said that this was going to replace my card holder from um, Louis Vuitton and um, and it, it's because it held more cards in addition to it was a lot more um, agile as far as me being able to get in and out of it get the cards in and out I, I highly if you had the choice between this one and this one right which I mean, I, I love it. I like it. I'm going to say it. But I love this one more, right? Um, would never sell this one. Not necessarily sure I would get it in the monogram, you know, um, because it's if you only have a couple of items you want to carry, then it's fine. But for me, a couple of debit cards, a couple of credit cards, then the insurance card and this and that then this becomes a this this is a better fit for me and it's not canvas it's leather right so when you think about the two and this is leather and this is canvas you know the it's just made more sense to get this to the point where you know you guys know my birthday is in like a few days so um, I have every intention that when I'm on my shopping spree for my birthday and I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog it yet or if I'm just going to go ahead and just do a whole video or do both. Let me know in the comments what you would prefer. But I will be going to YSL and getting another color. Okay, so definitely recommend that. All right, so now let's go into my empty slash favorite. So these are the things that I would highly recommend to anybody. I use it all the time to the point where they are empty, right? So we're going to start with, and you guys see me use this or hear me talk about this all the time. I'm out. It's, it's gone. And I don't even know why I put this in here because you guys know you're going to run through these. But this is the Precisely My Brow um, Pencil by Benefit in the color 4.5. I already took my backup one out, but I want to finish my Gucci one first. So I haven't touched my backup. I just pulled it out, but I do recommend out of all of these, this is the one that works for me. I might keep the empties though because of the spoolie, <laughs> just to have an extra spoolie. But anyway, that's just me being crazy. Um, my earring is messing up. All right. So the next thing is this right here, the Dove Silky Nourishment Body Cream. I got this from Marshalls for, as you can tell, $3.99. And ooh, I think I might have just a teensy, eensy, weensy bit a couple. And yes, I'm going to try to get it out. Um, I love this to the point where every time, and I go to Marshalls like two, three times a week. If I see it, I grab whatever's left. Um, I use this 
in conjunction with my net nevia um the the cream body cream that's in the in the little blue uh tub that's extremely thick so i use them together and when i use them together and i lotion my entire body it hydrates my skin more than anything else that i've had i can use this alone too but because we we had snow and everything else i use them together i can see myself just needing this um, come the springtime right um and i take a shower in the morning and i take another one at night and that's because i wear fragrance to bed and i like to put it on fresh anyway we'll talk about that later um I really enjoy this and for it to be four dollars and this is a 10.14 full ounces it took me about a month maybe five weeks to get through this and that's using it twice a week I mean twice a day so I do highly recommend it I have about six six more left um I love it so I wanted to point this one out Next is, you guys saw me haul this probably in September or October. It might be late September. This is the more specific, the Essentials Cream Fluid. This re retails for $95, so it is a bit pricey, right? But it is, I finished this two weeks ago. So you figure October, November, December, and January and half of February. So four and a half months for me to use this uh, once a day. Um, you only need one, two pumps. And it says it here, one, two, and that's it. You don't need a whole lot to cover your whole face. This is bomb. Bomb. I already had a backup. So as soon as this was out, I just pulled the backup out. Now I need another backup to the backup. This one, I will always, unless my skin stops reacting to it the way it does, this is a winner for me. Definitely, definitely a winner. I use this one during the day. So my, my morning skin routine is this one. My night skin routine is this one. The Tatcha Water Cream. Um, I bought this one at the same time and i had a backup and now i took the back one back up out this one um ran out a, a week after this one so either way four and a half months is not bad considering this is only 1.7 full ounces this one is three fluid ounces um but this one is thicker um you don't need as much so really i take a little tiny bit you don't need a lot and I use this at night. Um, and I absolutely love it. I mean, love it. I also, which I probably should have brought out as a favorite as well, is the um, exfoliator, uh, the rice polish, and the um, deep cleanse. Also, all great products. I, my favorites, they're actually in my shower. That's why I forgot to take them out. But definitely should be in this video. Um, I will put links to all of uh, the products that have links for them in my description box they will be affiliated it, it, the ones that are affiliated will say affiliated uh, which means that if you choose to use the links to purchase anything or anything else on said website I will receive a small commission that I put right back into the channel so um, you don't have to you can always go and, and shop the normal way but I you know and that's quite fine I do very much appreciate it if you decide to use the links to help support the channel okay now this one right here I'm sorry that I'm going to show this to you because I do get questions about my skincare right and what do I use on my skin and things of that nature this particular item is a hard to find because it's discontinued I had to search the internet for another one and I'm still searching for some more I'm saying it to you in case I do find it I will have it linked in the description box okay if you don't see a link to it that means I couldn't find it okay but I have to say it because this this is this was a staple for months months and that is the Peter Thomas Roth cucumber detox detox foaming cleanser and that's oh you can tell right and I, I I keep trying I probably can get two like two more pumps out of that little bit so I might 
I might try to use this tonight. But this right here, and what I was using this for is in between like videos, um, when I'm trying to wash my face, wash the makeup off, get it off so that I can film another one or anything like that. I don't want to use my Tatcha to do that. Um, so I, I was using this. Or um, in the hotter months, right, or warmer months, I, and I tend to like to wash my face when I feels gritty, I would use this, right? So either way, this was like my, my everyday, just need a clean face cleanser, um, where my skin might be feeling already a little, um, I don't want to say it's not, it, 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 I could even wake up, say I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I don't feel like my face is um, really dirty because, you know, I just washed it the night before. But I want a cleanser that is light. That's what I pick. So if you don't need a heavy cleanser, you know, you can use this. If you're just cleaning and cleaning your face in between makeup applications, if you are an influencer or anything like that, then I would recommend that too. That way you're not using your more high end products right to wash your face you i just use this i hope that made sense right because that seemed awfully long story but those are my empties so let's get into the makeup okay so let me just move this so i'm going to start at the lips and then work around that First thing I want to talk about is this baby right here. Now, I have three other shades, but this is the one I've been using probably three, four times a week since I purchased it. And this is the new Natasha Denona I Need a New Lip Crayon in the color Lala. You guys have seen me use this on, in several videos or seen me, heard me mention it in the video. Um, I do, you see, I have, to, I have to sharpen it again, right? But that's the color. I do, I think this is a great, great nude, nude brown color for me to use as a liner. And I I actually intend on purchasing a backup of this one because I have a backup of ground control because you guys know for Pat, that's my favorite one. This one is a close second, a very close second. So I highly recommend this lip crayon. And if you are of a lighter complexion, then some of the lighter ones will work for you. Some of the ones I got, that are a little, that I'm, I will say like this one right here, you can't really even see. But it will still be good to go under um, another, another light color. So that's the only lip pencil. Now I get a lot of questions about this lip product when I wear it and you do see me wear it often. Um, or I don't mention it and then somebody says, what do you have on your lips? And it's this. This right here is um, the Fenty Beauty Lip Stunner, Stunner Lip Paint in the color Underdog, right? This came out the year before last, I want to say. Correct me in the comments um, if I'm wrong, but I want to say it came out holiday time 2019. Um, this is a bomb color for the lip. Um, it is, you don't need a lot. It's, you just have to take your time as you do with all the lip stunners, but the application is nice and smooth. Just take your time and it lasts through everything. I can eat, drink, have 15 cups of coffee, whatever. And I still, I barely need to touch up and it's the end of the day, right? I, I actually use makeup remover to remove this off my lips. So I just want to put that out there. The other two lippies I, I want to put out here, I didn't wear them, full disclosure, quite as much as I would have liked to, but as you guys probably can imagine, I have a whole lot of lip lippies. But these two right here, these are the two new um, uh, lippies that came out with the Divine Rose 2 collection from Pat McGrath. This is the color Divine Rose and the Liquid Lust Legendary Wear. A liquid lipstick and then divine nude now she did just announce that a whole host of um, a whole collection of other uh, shades are coming out on the fifth I want to say 
so I will yes I will be purchasing them all even if these two are in there as well um this formula is better than her original one I did not particularly care for yes there are pack products I don't particularly care for I didn't particularly care for them I actually still have them here I'm considering decluttering them but these these are well worth the money the lasting power everything lasting power is not Fenty though this is not lip stun and paint quality you know lasting power but it also doesn't dry out the way this does this does dry your lips just a little bit this one right here these are these are working they don't move everything I, I like those all right let's move into base this baby came out December 26 the Fenty Beauty a uh, soft matte powder foundation I have used this the FB is almost gone as you can tell I've used this as a foundation I was rushing a couple of weeks ago I didn't even think about putting on any makeup right and I was kind of like I need to look put together for my my um, WebEx so I, I popped this bad boy open I took a brush and I I put my face together really quick and I mean, it it just performs like magic. It, it did not overly complicate my makeup application. It actually made it a lot easier. And I used this actually on my daughter on her Sweet 16 when we went out for, uh, for dinner. And um, she's going to get her own because... She, you know, she's new to makeup and learning liquid products can be a bit cumbersome. This is even great for the teenage population or the young, the younger generation that does not necessarily want to play with liquids. Um, in addition to, I have used this as a setting powder or a finishing powder. I, I would definitely get a backup of this if I need it. I don't run through stuff like that, but be, because this is a powder, I just might. So I, I, you know, I, the Sephora sale, I'll probably get a backup of this just to have it. Definitely a winner. Next is the love, the Natasha Denona Love Cheek Duo Cream Blush and Highlighter. I love, I love the thing. Okay, let me stop playing with the packaging. This right here, as you can tell by my divots in it. I don't use the highlighter as much. I don't. But this cheek color right here in the cream i do like the formulation i like everything about this so i have used it i would consider this a favorite um again i just the highlighter is the same type of um same formula as the i need a nude glow but you guys know how i feel about i need a new nude glow that's my favorite highlighter in my collection yes the whole collection uh but I do, I, this was a uh, favorite video worthy, so I wanted to put it in the video. We're already at 18 minutes, so let me hurry up. Um, next is, yes, the love, the uh, mini love palette. I love this little palette, as you could probably tell from how beat up it looks, but I love it. And um, it's definitely on the top of my, my minis. For Natasha Denona, as far as ranking them, um, I like it more than I like the regular Love palette because I don't even touch that one. But this one right here gets gets attention from me since I bought it. And this last one is not going to be a shock because you guys have I have mentioned it probably five times since the beginning of the year, and um, I have done looks on other videos. And then when people ask me, Chris, what is on your eyes? What do I say? The Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I had to put it in my video. I just use it and I'm sorry it looks a little yucky. But I use this palette probably once a week. Maybe more. Right. Um, I had to force myself not to use it. Um, a couple of times where I was doing. Um, what was I doing? I was. I forgot. What, I was getting ready for work. And I said don't pick up this palette again. Go pick up another one. You have 50 million don't pick up the same palette you know so i do i i think this is backup worthy i'm not getting a backup probably if she has a similar sale for black friday 2021 like she had for black friday 2020 i might get a second one because a couple of these shades i will eventually hit pan on if i touch it as much as i i do um now that the springtime is coming i'll probably won't but still 
If you do not have this palette, oh my God, what are you doing? This palette needs to be in everybody's life. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this. All right. Now, I am going to get into some fragrances, as you should know, because, um, well, I've been hauling a lot of them, right? And I'm hauling more now. I have a box down here. I'm not going to talk about, but I have a box down here. And um, I have others that are get, being gifted to me for my birthday by family and friends. And then I have my own purchases that I plan on getting on Saturday for my birthday. But with all that said, I'm going to no particular order. I'm just going to go through it and tell, and tell you why I like them so that we can make sure this video is not 50 hours long. All right. You guys already know I was going to say this. You, you guys saw how I felt about it when I talked about it in the hall. Delina, this is not exclusive. This is Delina. This right here is creamy sunshine, perfect coffee morning, no meetings on my calendar, which never happens. That's just a unicorn day. I can't even begin to tell you um, how great this is. It's so great that I did buy the body cream. And I showed you this in a haul as well, right? And I have hair in the body cream. Really? Um. Oh, I don't want to spill it. Ugh, can't spill hundred dollar cream. But I, it smells just like the the um, perfume. I layered it one day, and I was a Delina bomb child. Everywhere I went. I, I left, my scent trail was so serious that I left out a room in my house, closed the door behind me, worked a little bit in my bedroom, went back into the room I was in, and op when I opened the door, I still smelled my scent trail. That's how serious it is, okay? When I put these two together, they're not ready. They're not ready for it. I recommend it. Um, highly recommend Delina. Um, next, um, is this baby right here. And what is wrong with my top? I don't know what I did. This is the Nina Ritchie. This is the Lay Extance. This right here, you can see I made a slight dent in it. It already came a little low because that's how the bottle was, even though it was brand new. But I did put a dent in this bad boy right here. I put a dent in it and this one is like clean, sexy not dirty sexy and i know that sounds weird but um it's it's clean sexy um i i wear sexy fragrances i don't need to be on a date night or something i wear it and sit right at my desk and work at work and just sit there smelling sexy but i do i do highly recommend this one everyone does not like it i would say if you can purchase a sample of any of the fragrances i'm talking about purchase a sample don't be blind buying like me because um you know it can it, if it can get messy you know so far i've loved everything except for one thing that i blind bought but this right here i love i love 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 it you know if you are familiar with the notes you like which i'm starting to get more familiar with right what i really really like then you'll probably be easier to blind buy but you can always do samples and i'm gonna talk about samples in a minute but i want to get through the rest of these fragrances the next one is guerlain's mon, <clears throat> mon guerlain now i do have a dent in this bad boy already okay you guys know i just hauled this the beginning of january look at that just so i can you can see the dent I over, I'm a overspray it. Just so you know, I don't do one, two. I, I'm like, look, that's about that's about twelve right there, and that's and that's literally with me sitting at my desk working. If I'm going outside, then the clothes getting sprayed. Yeah, so it's really easy for me to put dents in things when, uh, depending on the fragrance. Right, certain things you can't overspray, but this bad boy right here, this one is great. This is like, this is like my my volleyball mom scent. Like, oh, I'm gonna go watch the game. Well, right now everything is virtual, but 
I can just put this on. Um, I have also slept in it, just to let you know. Uh, my next one is this baby right here, Coco Mademoiselle the Intense. Yes, look at that dent. Look at that dent. I, child, let me not even, because I haven't even put a scent on yet for the day. Look at this. I, um, so you can see it. I, I am so in love with this scent. And this is only a 1.7 ounce. This will not make it through the year. I'm telling you. This will probably be on my Christmas list for 2021 because for 3.4 ounce, right? And stop playing with the 1.7 because that's how much. And I have the regular Mademoiselle now. And I've I, I haven't put this much of a dent in because I only had it for the last couple of weeks. But this bad boy right here, I have put through it. Okay. Yes, I recommend it again. Get samples, but honey, the next one. This one is so good. I bought a larger one and had the bottle engraved. And that is Lieb or Libre. I don't know which one it is by YSL, the intense one. I do not like the regular one. Mm -mm. It don't, no, I don't like it. This one right here, I put a, yes, I put a nice dent in this one. I don't know if you're gonna be yep you can tell better when I do that okay so this one is only the one ounce if I'm not mistaken yeah it's the one fluid ounce this is not going this this right here um even though I probably will stop wearing it in another month and start wearing some more fresher springy type scents you could probably still get away with wearing this probably until May but I love it. So I bought a 3.4 ounce and then I have it engraved. If you would follow me on IG, you saw it says Chris Loves Lux at the bottom. I love this one. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And it will never be not in my collection. Love it. The next one is newer to my collection. I purchased this from the cosmetic company store um, in one of the last two hauls. I don't think I put it in my in my uh, haul video though I think I just talked about Tom Ford I can't remember but this one right here is Tuberose Angelica Cologne Intense by Jo Malone and I'm a Tuberose fiend I love Tuberose I love patchouli I love leather I love amber vanilla anyway right here let me see if you can see it Tuberose Angelica Intense and this smells like, and I don't know, I'm dating myself, but I don't know for those of you that um, were wearing, like you were maybe in high school in the 90s or college in the 90s, um, Giorgio Armani had a fragrance called Geo. It was my signature scent for eight years, right? It is a tuberose bomb, okay? Um, right now it is discontinued, I think it discontinued at least what 20 10 years ago if not longer um and i wore it like almost all of the 90s i had to be into 2000s but anyway i love that perfume i found it at a fragrance shop some off fragrance shop but he wanted 200 for it i was like that's a 60 dollars bottle of perfume but he wanted 200 because it's discontinued but he was selling little tiny um samples of it for twenty dollars i got it just for nostalgia purposes but this smells like it i say it smells 85 90 percent like it so if you know the fragrance that i'm talking about i'll try to find a picture and put it up here but this is a close second to that fragrance and i love it the last two that i'm going to talk about are nighttime only scents for me i do not wear this during the day i don't wear it out i just wear it this is something that i wear to bed i wear other things to bed too but these are the ones that i reach for the most and i'm gonna talk about this one first and literally i spent 15 dollars on this at tj maxx or marshall's this is lovely by sarah jessica parker this is a nice fresh soapy scent um it reminds me she's kind of smoky soapy and must must at the musk not must <laughs> musk but 
um, you can see that I put a dent in this already. You can spray your sheets with it too. And it just, I have such a great night's sleep when I put this on and it just puts me in, in a whole calming state, especially with everything going on with my dad. I've been looking to those type of things to kind of, as far as self-care is concerned, a nice hot bath, moisturize, put a nice scent on, get under the covers and, you know, it really puts my mind at ease, you know. This right here, if you can find it, I would say for $15, you can go ahead and blind buy it and see if you like it. I personally, I love this scent, so I do have a backup, especially for $15, I got a backup. And I bought my daughter one, so she has one as well. The last one I'm gonna talk about, that is what I wear to bed. You guys remember I hauled this sometime last year, and you can't tell that I have a dent in it, can you? It's, the line is right there. Right, so I did put a nice size, there you go, a nice size dent in this considering I just started using it in January. Um, it doesn't last on me. Black opium does not last. So that's why I wear it to bed because I don't necessarily have to have the longevity and all of that when I'm going to bed. And that coffee, the hint of coffee in it and that the depth of it really puts me in a good um, mindset for bed and it's nice it's creamy and I love it for bedtime so that is so I would repurchase it as a bed fragrance that is what I do and I say this wasn't gonna turn into a fragrance channel right but this is just me talking about my my favorites of the last two months the last thing I want to talk about that I I as I watch different fragrance channels um and I've talked about the different channels one particular channel uh, Sheree Lewis channel she talked about a fragrance subscription called royalty scents so I went ahead and subscribed in January so I have my January and my February um, samples already and I love it it's $20 for one fragrance I should have got the one that's two I think I'm gonna upgrade to two per month but y'all it had Tom Ford fragrances they have uh, Maison Christian Dior they have all type they have Creed they have the the niche houses that you you don't want to spend two three hundred dollars on until you you test it out they have it there so you pick your scent and for the twenty dollars that you're paying a month or, or 40 or whatever whichever plan you choose um and they send you a decant of it and this was my first one. This is Rose Prick by Tom Ford. Tom Ford's fragrances, they come for your throat, your pockets. So you want to test that before you get it, right? So here is how it comes, just like this, right? If you wanna see the decant, it's in here and that's a nice size. You can see I put a dent in this already. Um, the, I'm not saying the fragrance is a favorite. I'm saying the subscription is a favorite. Royal, I highly suggest you get, I know there's other ones, scent box and everything else. I only have royalty scents. Um, I, I can check some other ones out, but for I like the packaging. I like how quick it comes. So I do highly recommend that you try it out. Um, and I like, I do like the scent though. Um, it is full bottle worthy for me now. It wasn't when I first got it, but it is now. So, um, but for three hundred and fifty dollars full bottle, it's gonna hold out for a minute. See if I get it as a birthday gift or something. But um, this is how it comes. My most recent one came like this. Here's the packaging, and this is Fev. You can tell I just got it. I only used it twice. Um, and this is glass. Just so you know. Um, this is Fab Delicios by the Mason Christian um, Dior line. Um, so, I highly recommend Royalty Scents. All right, y'all. We are at like 30-something minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites. Um, I, I forgot one thing. Don't kill me. Two things. My fail and another favorite. This right here, I bought this some time ago and I never used it until recently, in the last couple, few weeks. And this is what I like to use to put on my bronzer. Cause I, you know, you guys know I pack on bronzer. And 
you know a lot of people like this brush for bronzer and it's not bad the, the 22 by refer but it's a little big right because i like precision bronzer i want to get precise and this baby right here does the trick so i am going to get a backup why do i always feel like i need a backup comment down below do you feel the same way about certain things like like you got fear that something's going to be discontinued so you go get a backup i don't know but I am going to get a backup. Plus, when this gets dirty, you want to have a backup, you know. Anyway, I don't have to explain myself. Okay. My my fail is this thing. So, my daughter has thick eyebrows. So, you know, me trying to razor them is a challenge because they grow up, down, sideways, unibrow, all of that. So, I wanted to clean it up nicely for her sweet 16. So I bought this thing, Flawless Brows, Oops. at a TJ Maxx or Marshalls, this is what it looks like. And what you're supposed to do is, what's supposed to happen is, you turn it on and, and you're supposed to be able to clean your brows, right? thing unless you barely have brows from the jump it's not made for people that have a lot of hair on their brows because after 15 minutes of trying to make this work and get her i ended up picking up the razor and and, and arching you know because she really doesn't have a a, 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 lot, a big arch just cleaning up her eyebrows with that and, and tweezers this was not worth the twenty dollars i think i paid for it right and if i could find a receipt i would take it back um it's just not worth it it was the worst purchase i've made in a very long time okay so that is my one fail all right let me know down in the comments what, what your thoughts are about the products you saw today have you tried any of them and you said no i'm not with you on this um, or have you tried? Do you have some favorites? Did I mention some of your favorites in here? Let me know. Did I mention anything that now you're interested in getting? Let me know that as well. And don't forget to use my links if you want to support the channel. If not, I totally, totally understand. With all that said, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Head over to IG. Follow me at Chris Loves Lux. But the most important thing that I would like everyone to do is to stay safe. Stay healthy and stay tuned. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.